NDVI stands for Normalised Difference Vegetative Index, and that is a, a standard factor of crop growth that's utilised worldwide. Uh, there's a no, number of variations on a theme, but it uh, basically uses uh, the reflectance of a crop of the red and near infrared light, and uh, the uh, algorithm is uh, created then to create a number between 0 and 1 that we can use to identify the greenness and the bulk and the biomass of the crop. NDVI is uh, usually collected through the use of satellite, uh, remote sensing there, or airplane uh, flying with uh, specific expensive cameras that uh, can do the job. Or well, there's also a different uh, range of crop sensors that can uh, pick up the uh, reflectance from the crop. They either have their own light source or they utilise the, uh, the light that's uh, here during the day. With those sensors then we can uh, create a map of uh, crop growth uh, and the bulk and the biomass and from there we can then go and uh, use that information to make some decisions about a how the crop is growing, b why the crop is growing poorly in one area and better in another and then c formulate a plan about what we're going to go and do with that which typically is a uh, variable rate application plan for nutrition. The main focus with these sensors is uh, looking at targeting nitrogen applications and, and looking at variable rate nitrogen applications. So it's around the time that you want to be out there putting in on the crop. Um, typically it'll be around that five leaf through to mid stem elongation period um, that you'll get the best best indication from them in terms of the variability in the crop. If you go very early on in the crop's growth then um, its nitrogen demand has been very low and so the variability that exists in the crop um, will be minimal and not caused by nitrogen. You can just have these sensors set up on either your boom spray or your spreader and be mapping each time you pass over the paddock. You can take that data back to your home office and interrogate the maps, see what they have showing you and then you can tweak those and send them back out to a variable rate controller and do your variable rate application then. Or if you're um, comfortable that the sensors are picking up variability that is associated with nitrogen, um, and nitrogen availability, then you can set the sensors up to control either your spreader or your boom spray with UAN um, on the go in real time. Um, as it senses, it controls the uh, an algorithm which gives you an end rate and then that controls the actual output on the go. Usually what we're seeing is uh, not so much a reduction in uh, the cost of the input, um, so a farmer's not so much looking to cut rates, but we're just looking at a redistribution of rates of nutrition. We actually uh, can utilise the NDVI, we can uh, redistribute, it, redistribute uh, the nitrogen over those areas and uh, essentially get uh, a better bang for our buck.